Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing and DIY content. And today's video is all about DIY washi tape. You can make your own and the possibilities are endless. I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's get started. I love using washi tape in lots of my DIY projects and I'm going to show you today how you can make your own really simple and you can make so many different designs. And to create your own washi tape, all you're going to need is some packing tape and some double sided tape. I found this at the dollar store. It's really affordable and it's sticky on both sides. The first thing that we want to do is measure how wide our tape is because that's going to be how wide our washi tape is. I always have lots of bits and pieces of different types of paper. This is a great project to use this up. I'm using my paper cutter and I'm cutting the strips the same width of the double sided tape. This will work on any type of paper, napkins, scrapbook paper, magazine pages, or even pages out of a book. I've got all kinds of strips cut from my scrapbooking paper scraps. And the first thing that we're going to do is lay down a piece of parchment paper, or you can use wax paper and tape it down to your surface. And once we have that taped down to our table, I'm going to get my packing tape and the packing tape will go over top of three strips of that scrapbooking paper. Your paper might be a little bit thicker. You might not be able to get all three strips in, but if you can, then you'll put that right on top of the paper and then I like to press it in really hard with a card and making sure there's no bubbles and no wrinkles. This technique is quite similar to the packing tape hack video that I did not that long ago. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below in the description because it's a really fun one to try. And to turn this into washi tape, we just have to add one more step. Now we're going to cut off the extra packing tape and then cut the three strips into individual pieces. I love being able to find different techniques and different tricks that we can craft with that just makes our projects more affordable and we ha don't have to go out and buy all these extra products when we have all these things right in our craft room that we can just turn into something else and I love being able to do this. So after seeing this project you'll reevaluate what you want to throw out. We've got all the strips all cut apart now, and we've got a dish of warm water. We're just gonna put those strips right in the warm water and let them soak for about five minutes. If your paper is thicker, it's gonna have to soak for a little bit longer. If it's a thinner paper, then it won't take as long to soak. But what we're going to do is we want to rub off that thick paper from the back. I like to start it a little bit with a credit card or you can use your nail. Now we're just going to rub away all of that paper and you're going to be left with the image on the tape and all the paper backing being removed. Much like the packing tape transfer trick that I did in my last video. Uh, this is the same thing and if you don't want to go on and turn this into washi tape, you can always just put some Mod Podge or use a glue stick and uh, adhere it to your project. It takes a little bit of patience to rub all the paper back off, but it's certainly worth it in the end. got all the paper rubbed off and as you can see it kind of makes it transparent you can see through it it's ready to turn into washi tape I'm just gonna work away at these other couple pieces and then we'll go on to the next step and there we have some of our strips of tape already the papers all been rubbed off the back it's now made it transparent and we are going to add the double-sided tape now i can find double-sided tape at my dollar store and i've seen them at quite a few different ones but if you can't you can always grab some off of amazon and i'll put the link down below in the description i'm just going to lay that double-sided tape onto the parchment paper we're using parchment paper or wax paper because it won't stick to it and then we're going to pick up that piece of tape that we have our paper on and lay it into that double-sided tape 
because it's sticky on both sides, that top of the tape is going to stick into the packing tape. Now you wanna make sure you're laying it down on the part of the piece of tape that we rubbed the paper off of. So we're going to have the shiny side on the top and the paper side underneath. And we've created a piece of washi tape. Now to store this so when we're ready to use it, I like to save all of my caps out of my recycling bin. This cap is actually off my dry shampoo bottle and you're just gonna wrap it around. It's not going to stick to it. It's gonna peel off easily when you're ready to add it to your project. And you can also add the next layer on top of it of the same type of paper so you can make a longer length. Just cut it off even and then you can wrap the next one on top of that. And I have enough room on this cap that I can add two or three different types of washi tape onto one cap. Also another tip, if you don't want to have the shiny side up, you can always flip it over and have the matte side of your paper on top and then you don't have to have that shiny surface for your project, so it's kind of versatile. This is a cap off of a hairspray bottle and you can see how I had two of these strips of the same design and I'm just laying them on top. It works perfect for storing it. If you do a lot of paper crafting, this is a great way to make original washi tape that's one of a kind. You can add it into your junk journaling projects, mixed media projects, your scrapbooking, so many possibilities. And like I said before, if you don't want your washi tape to be shiny, you can always flip it over and apply the shiny side to the double-sided tape, and then you'll have the matte finish from where you rub the paper off on the top of your washi tape, and it just gives it a little bit of a different look. And I also love the idea that I'm saving all these caps out of the recycling bin too, and they store really well on a shelf or in a drawer when you have them all put together and they stack up neatly. So save all those scrap bits and pieces of paper, turn it into washi tape to add to your DIY projects. And here's what I created, all these beautiful, different original pieces of washi tape that I'm gonna add into my junk journaling projects. And I hope you give this technique a try yourself. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial on DIY washi tape and you should give it a try yourself. And if you love this type of content, I'd like for you to subscribe and follow along so you don't miss any DIY content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care and happy crafting.